Well, hello everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very cool VCR that I just got today. And uh, it's pretty special because it's a Beta VCR, as you can see. And it's a very old vintage Toshiba Beta VCR. The year is 1984, I've seen it on the, on the inside of the VCR. And uh, I've got this VCR today uh, from someone on Kijiji. Uh, for 30 Canadian dollars, which is uh, quite a reasonable price for what it is. And uh, it, it, this VCR is uh, perfectly working. I've even tested it at the person's place. And uh, that person uh, does not have a TV anymore, he basically went digital. And uh, so this VCR it was plugged uh, to a computer using a USB capture device. Uh, it was used uh, to uh, transfer beta tapes. Uh, that's what he used it for. And uh, this VCR, I had uh, seen this, uh, exact, this exact VCR model. Uh, I don't know if it was the same exact model, but it looked uh, exactly like this. It was at that uh, flea market mall that I sometimes go to, that, that shop. And uh, that VCR, uh, uh, you saw it in my video of uh, when I went to that flea market. We saw it. And the price was uh, $50. And uh, I then, uh, a few weeks later, uh, I went back to that place and the, the, that Toshiba VCR was not there anymore. And then, like about a week ago, uh, I saw the uh, this VCR for sale on Kijiji and I was pretty certain that it was the one that, that I saw at the flea market. Because the idea just uh, popped up uh, just after I saw, uh, just uh, not long after I saw that uh, it was no longer at the flea market. And uh, so uh, when I went there today, uh, I when I went to uh, get this VCR today, I asked the, the person where he had uh, got uh, this VCR and he said he got it a couple of years ago at uh, the recycling center. And uh, so uh, that's pretty that's pretty interesting. It was not uh, actually the one that, that was at the flea market. And uh, so yeah, the, the the recycling center. This is a place that I sometimes go, that I I have been there a few times and uh, grabbed VCR from there. You're not supposed uh, really to uh, grab stuff there, but uh, well, uh, I have done it like a few times. Uh, I've grabbed some VCRs from there. Good thing that person uh, uh, broke this VCR from uh, the, the the recycling center instead of the VCR being uh, scrapped into pieces uh, to be recycled. And uh, so that's a good thing, it's pretty rough and per perfectly working. The, this one is not a very high-end VCR, but it's pretty special anyway because it's a beta. And uh, so it's, it's not it's not a super beta and uh, or beta hi-fi. And uh, I did not get the remote uh, with this VCR, but uh, I set the clock there because you can uh, set it uh, using these buttons. So uh, it's not that it's a low-end VCR, but it's not a it's not a high-end VCR like a it's not a high-end editing VCR. It's a pretty basic for it's a pretty basic VCR, but still uh, pretty nice. And uh, on this VCR, you have uh, the two speeds, beta two and beta three. Uh, most of these beta did not have a beta one, but uh, some of them uh, higher end models uh, had it. And uh, you have a tracking knob uh, here. It does not have uh, auto tracking because, uh, of course, uh, no n no VCR from that time period had uh, auto tracking. And there you have that system to uh, uh, set the channels. I've never used it, of course, because it's no longer uh, no longer used uh, nowadays. It's just not closed uh, correctly. Now there it is. So there you can uh, change the channels with this. I don't know exactly how this works, but uh, yeah, I've never used it and it can't be used anymore uh, today. And uh, here on the back side, you have the the label and the model number, Toshiba model number VM42C. So there's the letter C, like on uh, most Toshiba VCRs uh, sold in Canada, they had the letter C. That's just added uh, to the model number. And uh, there you have a, a power outlet uh, here. And there the the AV uh, in and out. So there's only uh, there's only one audio because it's a, it's a mono VCR. Like a hi-fi, like a stereo VCRs were very rare to find at that time. They were very uh, they were a lot more expensive. And uh, so now I'm going to uh, put in a tape and uh, I will show you the picture quality on this one. 
So it will not have the the best picture quality you can have uh, on a beta because it's a uh, it's not a high end Sony beta. Uh, Sony made the best uh, beta definitely because they were the inverter the inventor of the of the beta max format. And uh, some other companies uh, made them like uh, Sanyo was one of them and Toshiba and uh, also NEC made uh, some beta. But uh, yeah, it's not it's not like a, it won't have the quality of a Sony SL HF nine hundred of course. Now I will load the beta tape in this VCR and I'm going to show you the picture quality later because uh, I'm going to record uh, something on a beta tape and uh, so I'm going to load this tape in the VCR, a beta tape with two windows it makes uh, interesting sounds when it loads and uh, so you could hear like a uh, different uh, motor noises and uh, so this is something that is uh, quite uh, interesting, uh, very special in, in this mechanism. It has uh, several motors, it has six different motors, including the drum. So uh, this is uh, something that I've never seen. This uh, loading mechanism has uh, three different loading motors. And uh, that, that's very special. Uh, And, uh, so the mechanism uh, works perfectly. All the, it ha it uses different belts, and uh, the, all the belts are good in this mechanism. So uh, even though uh, this VCR is from 1984, and uh, like on most uh, VCRs uh, from that time, you can uh, switch here from clock to the counter. And of course, this one does not have a real-time counter. It has a four-digit four counter, which you can reset uh, using this button. So it's not the heads that are generating this counter; it's a, a mechanical counter that uh, detects the rotation. And uh, you can uh, probably move this counter by turning the reels by hand, like you can do on some of these VCRs. So uh, right now I'm turning the reels, and uh, the counter is not moving. But uh, on many VCRs from the 80s, you can put your hand in there and uh, turn the reels, and uh, this counter will move, even though there is no tape in. And uh, now I'm going to. Uh, I wanted to record some Mario on this on this tape. Well, not on this tape, on a different beta tape. And uh, uh, since I have recorded Mario on a high tape, I'm going to transfer it to the to the beta tape uh, using the, the this VCR here. So now I just plugged the EVS uh, 2000 onto the Toshiba beta VCR, which is pretty interesting. And uh, so these VCRs are, are quite different. Uh, this one is higher end, uh, of course. And uh, these two VCRs are not from the same time period, so there are eight years of difference from uh, the time period. This one 1984 and this one 92, and uh, they just don't look the same at all. And uh, Sony and Toshiba uh, just uh, did not have uh, the same, uh, like the same look at all. Uh, so this, tape, this is the tape that I've uh, showed recently, it has some uh, uh, Wii U Mario recordings on it. And I'm going to, uh, to press the data screen button to remove this, uh, this text there. Okay, now let's record. Now this is the tape I'm going to record on. So it's a Kodak beta tape with two windows also. And I've seen that there is already something recorded on it, which is something that I've recorded from my like my VHSC camcorders to the the other uh, my other beta, the, the Sony SL100, which uh, this one is a super beta VCR.
but not high five. And uh, this is what I've recorded with uh, the SL100. So the picture is not uh, it's not perfect, but it's not that bad too. Uh, it might be uh, not the best because it's a uh, because it was re maybe recorded on the uh, with the super beta. So yeah, the picture is not the, that steady, and uh, yeah, like I said, that might be due to the super beta. I'm just going to uh, fast forward uh, till the the recording is passed. Now I just uh, recorded the recording from the the high to the beta, and I'm going. I rewind. I rewinded it, and I'm going to press play. And uh, there's the recording. It was recorded in the 169 uh, aspect ratio, and uh, so. Uh, I'm going to uh, fix that using uh, this uh, function of the CRT TV. And uh, now uh, I pause the, the hi hat tape when recording on beta. And now it was playing slow motion while recording on beta. And the picture quality is pretty decent, pretty good for a VCR of this time. And especially uh, for that age, it seems that it, it did not get old. It really uh, works surprisingly well for a VCR built uh, uh, 35 years ago, 1984, and now it's on beta 3 speed. So earlier it was uh, on a beta 2, and now uh, I had uh, switched it to beta 3. Now it's back to beta 2. So uh, you can uh, change the switch uh, while recording, and uh, uh, there you have a light that uh, lights on uh, LED. So uh, when it's on uh, beta three speed, now beta three. And uh, I'm going to uh, show you the difference between the the high FTM and the and the, the beta. So uh, they look really similar, especially the the bottom side of, it, of them. It looks quite similar. And uh, so it's like you, uh, it's like a shrink version of the beta. And there, this is a mini DV, and it's like a shrink version of the of the high eight. So it's uh, very interesting to see the difference between the, these formats of tape. And uh, there's the AVHS tape next to them, and uh, they, it looks quite different from the uh, two for, from the the three other uh, tapes because. Uh, you see the better the mini DV and the eight mm they have like a, this this kind of shape here. So as you can see, the these tips have it too, but uh, the VHS tape it does not uh, have that that uh, kind of uh, shape on the tip, so it's all quite different from the others. And uh, now, uh, while I'm at it, why not showing you uh, other cassette tapes that I have? So uh, this one, uh, the full size DVD tape, it's not open. Uh, I'm, I'm going to open. The, uh, I'm not going to open it before I get uh, uh, a VCR that uh, can use these tapes. So maybe someday. And uh, so uh, there's the VHS C tape, uh, audio cassette tape, and uh, here's a micro cassette. So uh, quite a lot of uh, different cassette tapes there, really interesting. So uh, the micro cassette, so uh, 
audio cassette tape. It was uh, this one was used in the uh, some uh, micro cassette uh, like uh, voice recorders. And uh, so these portable uh, audio recorders, and uh, also uh, vintage uh, answering machines. So uh, telephone uh, answer machines. So now I removed the top cover of the VCR so we can see the inside. And uh, here on the display you can see it's uh, it's later now. And uh, so here's the inside of the VCR and it's uh, just uh, looks very interesting. There you have the tape mechanism. And uh, there is a sticker here and it says the, the date, so September 29, uh, 84. So that's the manufacturing date and uh, you also have the date written here on the sticker on this motor. Uh, so September 84, that one too. And uh, here you have the, the circuit board. Uh, so you really have a lot of electronics in this VCR. So the, these old VCRs from the early and mid 80s, they have uh, like that a lot of electronics uh, to make them work and produce video. So this is very interesting. And you also have uh, another layer of a circuit board here under it. So this, this is really a lot of electronics and like on a the, these very old VCRs, you have a lot of wires too, and uh, the power supply is uh, just uh, below uh, below the circuit board here, and uh, the power plug uh, comes in the center of the machine, and uh, you can see the, these are not like a very small circuitry like you uh, like you have in this uh, Sony Hi8 VCR and like you have in this video Walkman and uh, uh, all uh, tape camcorders, so this is like a this is not small circuitry, so this must have been uh, quite a lot easier for technicians to work on than, uh, like for example, on on this or on the, or especially on the on this. The the, the this one has uh, all surface mount electronics, and uh, this one uh, has none of them. And so, uh, uh, the circuits, uh, the circuit uh, electronics, they just look a lot different from. Uh, from what we see in this Sony EVS 2000 quite a lot different and uh, well uh, something that I noticed uh, ju just now is uh, uh, Databits, the YouTuber Databits uh, has reviewed a Toshiba VCR uh, li just like this, I had already seen it but uh, I did not realize it was it, it looked exactly like this, only it was black color and uh, it had the same mechanism only uh, what I had not noticed is, uh, like I talked about uh, just earlier in this video, uh, this VCR mechanism has a uh, has a uh, three uh, separate has three different loading motors, which is something unique that I have never seen before. Before, and uh, I did not know there were VCRs that uh, had that kind of mechanism. So now I will put the tape in. Well, there you can see this uh, awesome tape uh, threading and we will press play so you can see the drum uh, started up and uh, the drum doesn't, doesn't uh, spin when you insert the tape it starts spinning when you press play and you can see it took, uh, like, a f it took like a few seconds to, uh, to start up the drum like to uh, to uh, start spinning to the, the full speed the drum it like uh, took more time than uh, what we usually see in VHS VCRs so it must, have, it must be uh, like heavier the, this drum inside it and uh, on a beta VCR uh, the, the, the part of the drum that uh, like the metal cylinder the, does not spin it's only uh, the part inside that spins and uh, the heads so this is a uh, uh, different from VHS so you can see when we press play it takes like more time to accelerate than a VHS VCR so why uh, this is all beauty let's see it again from this angle then I'll show you after uh, from uh, different angles
Now I will show you the fast forward and rewind speed. You can't really see it because there is this uh, huge metal piece uh, covering the, the tape. It's hard to uh, show it to you well. There you can see it uh, spinning. And uh, what's cool on this VCR is that uh, I got it and I did not do anything uh, to it to fix it. It uses different belts and also I uh, learned IR. And uh, all the parts are still good. Might have been refurbished. Uh, might have been repaired uh, at some point. I don't know. But uh, the, this, this machine is built like a tank. And the electronics too, uh, they are pretty durable. So they, they are not like surface mount. And, uh, so you know, like for example, this video, what man, these, uh, uh, all uh, these uh, machines all died from bad capacitors. Uh, like with uh, probably no exceptions. If you, you can't, I don't think they might not even be one of these machines that uh, in the world that is uh, perfectly working and that has not been uh, refurbished like uh, today. But uh, these electronics, uh, they are a lot more durable and uh, they are not like very small electronics uh, like in the, the portable units and uh, in this VCR here for example. And, uh, so that's the mid 90s, the mid 80s, uh, 1984. So now uh, we will take a look at the mechanism and it's a very special mechanism. It has something uh, pretty unique that uh, I did not know this Toshiba VCR mechanism had. And uh, first I will show you this, uh, so you noticed it, uh, probably this motor here. So uh, this VCR has a separate motor for the, the carriage. And uh, so the motor is located here. And it drives a metal shaft that goes to uh, this this uh, pl plastic worm gear and uh, that drives the gear for the cassette carriage. And uh, the position that uh, this motor is placed is uh, very... It's pretty strange, like the motor is not placed leveled, it's like placed uh, facing, uh, facing uh, diagonally, like uh, facing slightly right and slightly up too. Like it's not leveled. And uh, here you have uh, the loading motor. And uh, so this is the motor that uh, drives the, the ring gear that uh, goes around the drum. And uh, which the tip guys are mounted on. And it drives with this belt. It drives this pulley, then a uh, worm gear, and this gear, and this gear, this uh, gear drives the uh, that uh, that uh, ring gear. And the, uh, this belt is still good. And uh, something that uh, I've talked about is pretty special on this VCR. It has uh, uh, two loading motors on the on the main the the the, the mechanism chassis. So. Um, this VCR mechanism has a total of six different motors, including the drum. So you have the cassette carriage uh, motor here. You have the loading motor that uh, drives the ring gear here. And uh, then you have this motor here. And uh, this one uh, drives the other stuff in the in the mechanism, like uh, probably the position of the idler mechanism. And uh, also uh, this is the motor that engages and uh, disengages the pinch roller from the, the capstan here. And it drives uh, the other uh, other stuff in the mechanism. And uh, you have this motor, and uh, this is the capstan motor. So on the bottom side, which I'll show you, uh, you later, it drives a belt that uh, goes to a flywheel just uh, below this capstan here. And uh, you have a separate motor for the the, the idler mechanism. So just be below this, you have that motor. You can see it from the upper side because it's... Uh, under this assembly and uh, there you have a idler tire which is uh, just uh, it's in the center of the screen and this uh, tire is uh, still good and uh, like on uh, most beta VCRs like uh, probably except the Sony's, the Sony's uh, all use uh, idler gears I think uh, uh, except the very early models from the early uh, 80s but uh, the others like uh, the Toshiba and Sanyo I think they all use idler tire and uh, this one just like the the Sanyo, the Sears Beta Vision, which is made by Sanyo, that I have. Uh, it uses an idler gear for play, 
and the tire for fast forward and rewind. And uh, so this is a pretty uh, special mechanism. Now we will uh, look at a close up to this uh, motor here. So uh, well, this mechanism is all beauty. So now I'll just uh, turn the, the video over and uh, show you uh, from a different angle the tape loading. So uh, here's the tape loading from the back side, this angle. So it's all beauty, this mechanism. Then I don't know if I can show you a close up of the, this motor mechanism. You can see it turning a bit. And uh, when I do the uh, other VCR functions, like if I press play or fast forward rewind, yeah, this motor will turn. Now it's on play and then now stop. Press forward. And uh, something that is very special with uh, these gears driven by this motor is that uh, the, this mechanism actually loops the motor. The motor only turns in uh, one sense, and uh, so. Uh, the gear only turn in one sense and it uh, it actually loops and uh, so that's that's pretty interesting so uh, this is a really cool tape mechanism and uh, the, these three motors they are all the same uh, the same type of motor and uh, it's a motor that is uh, like uh, known to be bad uh, to like uh, fail uh, if, if in some conditions so uh, my friend the VCR King he, ha he has had uh, bad experiences uh, with uh, these kind of motors in VCRs so uh, like for example the Toshiba uh, Z2006 C VHS VCR that I gave him uh, when he got it, uh, for some reason, he it, the motor started to uh, uh, it like it had a problem. It no longer worked for some reason. It stopped working, and uh, like the motor was blocking. And uh, that's really weird because I, I have had the the VCR for four years uh, and a half before I gave it to him, and uh, it never had a mechanical problem that VCR. So I really can't explain why it did this. Uh, when the VCR was at his place and also he's had a MTC a VCR made by Shintum with a, Ch a Shintum mechanism and uh, that, that VCR had a motor uh, this type uh, it was uh, the, the motor for the cassette carriage it was, it was uh, placed on the right side of the cassette carriage in that VCR and uh, that motor, uh, the VCR when he got it it was uh, working perfectly but uh, then uh, it uh, then it uh, stopped working that motor it was blocking and it suddenly started to do this so uh, that's really weird when he was a uh, even it was the motor the problem because when he was turning it by hand uh, it was uh, like it was uh, doing some resistance it was blocking and so uh, i've never had a problem with these motors but it was the vcr king who uh, has uh, experienced that and so I hope, uh, I hope everything uh, continues to uh, go uh, well on uh, this Toshiba VCR. And so uh, here you have uh, the capstan. And uh, so you can see the pinch roller, it uh, engages and uh, disengages. So when you press play and uh, 
Then when you press play and fast forward, the controller disengages from the captain. So uh, VHS VCRs don't work like that. Uh, except that Toshiba uh, Z2060 VCR, which I, I gave to the VCR thing, that VCR well, had that thing special. When you were like a surf forward, fast play, um, and uh, rewind, the pinch order was uh, disengaged from the capstan. So now it still turns the pinch order because the tip is uh, touching it, but it's not uh, engaged against the capstan. So it's very interesting that uh, like a merry go round the uh, gear. And this mechanism is uh, quite a lot different from uh, so Sony Betamax VCRs. Now I've removed the bottom cover so we can see the bottom side of this mechanism. And uh, like on most of these Beta VCRs, uh, uh, there is not a lot to see on the bottom side. Uh, most of the stuff in, is on the top side. And uh, there you have an uh, aluminum uh, diecast chassis which is uh, like pretty solid. And. Uh, uh, you you can uh, still see some stuff on the bottom side, so uh, there's the bottom side of the drum and uh, here you have uh, the bottom of that motor uh, with that uh, capstan flywheel here so you have a flat belt and uh, here's that motor, it has a very small pulley uh, attached to it and it's a metal pulley and uh, here you, you can see that uh, idler motor and uh, here's that loading motor here that uh, drives this uh, warm gear with uh, that uh, that mechanism that uh, loops. So now, if we put the VCR sideways, we can uh, insert the tip. Well, now there's that little thing in there that was raised. Now we can insert the tape. So you can uh, kind of see the that that mechanism turning. And uh, here below this metal you have a mode switch. Well now I've got out my Sears Beta Vision VCR, which is a rebadged Sanyo, so I can uh, compare it. And uh, so this VCR, uh, I got it for Christmas, uh, my parents had uh, bought it on uh, Kijiji for me uh, on Christmas in the year 2013. So I've had this VCR for uh, almost uh, for like uh, 5 years and a half. And uh, now I will uh, be able to uh, compare the mechanisms in the, 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 the two VTRs, the Toshiba and the, the Sanyu. And uh, so I will uh, insert a tape to uh, first let you see the mechanism. So as you can see, uh, this one has a bad belt. Uh, here I've, it's, it's not being replaced uh, and uh, it slips. So uh, this one loads faster. So uh, the loading mechanism is faster on this one, as you could, as you could see. And uh, well, uh, the the front is also uh, there's something that's similar uh, on the front. The eject button, it's uh, here on the left side. It's at the same place. The this button and uh, the. The VCR buttons, the VCR uh, control buttons, they are uh, the same place too, uh, just under the the cassette slot. This one has a flap here, and it also has this system like the Toshiba. And uh, this one has a like a mechanical power button, like this. Uh, While well, this one has a uh, just a regular uh, push button. So uh, like this one could not uh, be used uh, for the 
with a remote to uh, do the power while this one uh, can and this one I think it's li slightly older, it's from 1983 I think and this one 84 and uh, like the construction of the VCRs are uh, is uh, quite different, uh, it's a little different too the electronics you can see they resemble, they are like uh, uh, big electronics so uh, there's a lot of circuit boards too but uh, the position of them is uh, a lot different in the two VCRs like here it was placed uh, on top of the tip mechanism and uh, I've raised it up using it and it holds, uh, it stays there using this, uh, this tape here so I'm using it to uh, just uh, hold the, the circuit board and there you have the transformer, the power supply is here on the, the right side and you have the other circuit boards, the tuner board here and uh, one main uh, really big difference in the mechanism of this, uh, of, uh, this Sanyo is the, the, the tape ch chassis so uh, in this mechanism it is made of a uh, thick plastic so uh, the tape mechanism is made uh, of uh, plastic and uh, so this is very unique uh, this is the only VCRs that I know that uh, use this type of, uh, of chassis like it uses a pretty uh, pretty strong plastic it's plastic but it's pretty strong so it makes the VCR like uh, uh, less heavy than uh, this one but uh, still it is very solid the, this type of plastic and uh, I don't know any other VCR mechanism that uses this so this is something that's quite unique on these but it doesn't uh, look uh, that beautiful uh, like the plastic is all yellowed and uh, kind of looks ugly and, uh, compared to, compared to uh, the Toshiba in my opinion and uh, yeah you, 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 you can see uh, here this one also uses a separate motor for the, the carriage and it's here on the right side only it's a lot different from uh, the, this Toshiba here so this one is like a it doesn't use a belt in this mechanism while on this one it uses a belt uh, the motor is placed uh, uh, facing upwards like that and uh, here's the loading motor so this is something that's similar on the two mechanisms it all, it, this one uh, also uses a belt like the Toshiba and the uh, same same uh, same kind of mechanism, uh, but here the loading motor is uh, uh, faced uh, facing the back of the VCR, and uh, here it's facing right. And uh, on these two VCRs, the the tape uh, the tape loads uh, counterclockwise. So unlike the Sony, which I'll show, show you just later. Uh, so the, the Sony loads uh, clockwise it, it uses a totally uh, different loading mechanism but this one is more similar to the to the, the Toshiba it loads uh, in, in that sense and the capstan is at the same location and uh, this one unlike the Toshiba it uses a, a direct drive capstan so you also have a pretty big circuit board here placed vertically on the on the side of this VCR the Toshiba that does not have that and uh, so yeah, that's pretty interesting and uh, this one also uses a, a separate motor and uh, there you have a, a low tire it's uh, under it, you can't really see it now but uh, there is an low tire which uh, it, it is used for fast forward and rewind and uh, it's been replaced on the VCR, I did not do it but uh, the VCR King uh, did it uh, last year, one year ago when I went to his place uh, he, uh, he, he re I brought uh, this VCR at his place and uh, he replaced uh, that, that tire and uh, so now fast forward and when it works so uh, the, the tip mechanism on this VCR works uh, with no problem so I'm keeping the VCR for the mechanism the only problem with the mechanism is here but uh, besides that it works but uh, this VCR, the video does not work well. Uh, the, probably the heads are very worn out uh, on this one. And also one main difference is that uh, this VCR 
uh, does not load the tape instantly when uh, when you insert it, it only has it loaded on play. And uh, most beta VCRs uh, loaded the tape instantly, like this Toshiba, and uh, all, all the, the Sony's, uh, they do that. So uh, all the very early uh, top loaders, uh, Betamax VCR, they all loaded the tape uh, instantly. I don't know if there's other VCRs than the Sanyo that, uh, that uh, don't, don't load the tape instantly when you insert the tape. This one uh, doesn't do it. And uh, so the, the, this one also has that uh, that arm that uh, brings the tape uh, at this place here. So now I'm going to uh, compare it with my uh, my Sony SL100 Betamax VCR. And uh, so this one is a uh, super Betamax VCR. It's not a stereo VCR or uh, it's not hi-fi. And uh, one, th this one is not super beta and this one is. You can uh, turn it on or off. And uh, th this VCR is really a lot different from the, the Toshiba. Like uh, the mechanism just uh, does not look the same at all. And also the circuit board is uh, quite different too. Uh, like on this one, the the, the part with the uh, uh, orange color and uh, with the electronics mounted on on it is uh, facing the top, and this one is uh, facing the opposite side, so the green side is uh, facing up. And there uh, are also the the, the the circuits; they look a little smaller. And the, the, this VCR is a little uh, less old. This one 84 and this one 86. So two years of this of uh, difference. And uh, so uh, Sony, uh, to totally different uh, co concept shot, uh, conception of the mechanism. So uh, I've already compared uh, my Sony SLHF900 that I used to have with the same mechanism. Uh, I've compared it with my Sanyo uh, Betamax VCR. And uh, so the mechanism is a lot, really a lot different. And uh, this one loads uh, clockwise. That's one of the main difference on this Sony. This one also loads instantly, and you press play, and the, the drum starts to spin. Eject. It's pretty loud. This mechanism does a particular sound, and a lot different from the other one. So it's louder, and uh, so yeah, you can see it loads. Uh, it loads clockwise, and. Uh, controller is not at the same place at all. Here the it doesn't uh, go like in a merry-go-round in one sense and uh, the entire uh, the entire assembly. This one has a uh, one piece that uh, goes uh, here uh, around the drum and the controller is not on the same piece so uh, this also is a lot different from the other the other uh, the So uh, there's the controller and uh, on this one you have a solenoid that uh, uh, move the pinch order and that uh, move this uh, this here. So on this VCR, it uses the same motor for doing uh, for all the loading mechanisms. So uh, what well, this VCR does using three motors, this one uh, does it using uh, one motor and a solenoid, which is uh, located just uh, at the right of the loading motor. And on this one, the loading motor it, uh, it's placed uh, facing upwards, and it drives directly like a, a planetary gear system, which means that uh, when you block one. Uh, one of the two parts, uh, rotary parts, it, the other one turns. So you have one for the main mechanism and one for the tape ejecting mechanism, which is driven by this total belt. This VCR has button problems. I press stop and it press play and uh, all that. So yeah, really interesting to compare uh, this mechanism, uh, really a lot different from the, the, the Toshiba.
and so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, pretty long video so it was pretty long because I well I did some comparison in it so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, including you uh, the better max man I hope you enjoyed to uh, see this comparison of uh, better VCRs so I'm, I think you will uh, have enjoyed uh, uh, this quite a lot so I'll see you guys uh, later for another uh, for another video bye